Kelly Price got to join Paul Milliken at this week's High Five Pep Rally at Milton. This week we're celebrating the start of the girls' flag football season. On that note, for the second year in a row, we've got a girls' flag football game as our High Five Game of the Week. Kelly has the Milton girls and McEachern girls. It's a really big deal because women's sports don't get the recognition that they need mm -hmm. or deserve. It's just to support what our teammate says. I definitely like to have it up because it like gets out of your face. You gotta get them nice and tight, no slipping or falling. That's the team of the week. You're not. You're not voted team of the week. So how are we gonna respond to it? Every time you score, every time we get a pick, because we're gonna get a lot of them. Don't get to them. Yo! And maybe not a lot of touchdowns to celebrate, but a defensive battle for sure tonight between McEachern and Milton at the nest. Amber Kirkpatrick finds DeAsia Williams in the back of the end zone, and the Indians go for one. Kirkpatrick keeps it, and it's a 7-0 ball game early. Midway through the first half, the law firm of Kirkpatrick and Kirkpatrick taking names and getting first downs. Autumn Kirkpatrick with a big game. But like I said, this one was a defensive grind. Kirkpatrick and the Indians facing fourth and goal. Anaya Wood, though, denies the would-be pass. And remember that name because you'll see her again. That was a much-needed spark for the Eagles. A little later on, less than a minute before halftime, Lindsey Gergens hits Wood in stride, who takes it all the way for the score. But they miss on the conversion, so it's 7-6 McEachern at the break. Second half passes being batted down left and right. Kai Giddens getting her on this one, but after we saw the Eagles fly back for a buzzer beating score in their first game tonight against Hoover, when they started driving with less than a minute to go, you had to wonder could they do it again? Junior Dariah McDaniel had something to say about that for McEacher. She picks Gergen's pass off to ice the game. 7-6 the final score. And that was an exciting defensive battle. I mean, what was the key to staying in that one? Really just staying together. Our, our girls have been working hard all season, and I'm just so proud of them and how well we played. Um, it really came down to our defense, getting a stop in a big moment, and we needed that. We spoke about before the game, we need the turnovers, and they forced one right there. Just getting our minds right and taking a deep breath and understanding the moment is not too big. for we, we're, we're prepared for this. And we made it happen. Come on, you had that interception to ice this game. I mean, how did you make that happen? I just listened to my coach and did what he said to do, and I stayed right there. I stayed patient, and I caught it. It's always amazing, man. I love these girls. Playing flag with them has been the best time. It's about to get even better because I've got you guys the Golden Ann Trophy for our game of the week. Some more K-Rod smiling tonight. Appreciate it, Kelly. Top 10, 7A.